CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. I can hear the water running down there. I can hear the water running. Can't see it. Probably see it from up here. It's so nice to have that in the background. <clears throat> Super happy I got here early while well, the ground is still frozen. If it warms up, it's going to be a muddy mess in some areas. No need for spikes up here, thank God. I've got some yak tracks. Probably why I like this trail so much is it's one of the few that I've been on in this area that have a little bit of water flowing by. So you get the, get the bonus of listening to that as you hike up. Moving into a little bit more consistent. Hard, hard pack. Probably came down as rhyme or something. Hoping not to have to need any more traction. Looking at my yak tracks. They're not going to put up with. It'd be good for walking on the sidewalk, but I'm not sure they would really put up with punishment. According to all the reviews I've seen, micro spikes, the way to go. Okay, let's put the yak tracks on. Only as a test, mainly because I don't think I'll need them. But, uh, I wanted to see if the reviews by other hikers were correct or not. Um, and then we'll go from there. That's pretty nice out of here. I have my hiking poles, so uh, I can feel the difference. A lot more grip. Uh, I guess the question is, can they put up to the punishment of more difficult conditions or just hiking up a hill so versus slick sidewalks super easy to put on you just slip the rubber things on and tie off the the uh, velcro straps which i hear are mandatory i don't know if they even sell them without those anymore yeah Micro spikes are made out of chains. This rubber on these seems like it would cut through with a little bit of rock action pretty easy. We'll see. So far, some nice views on the way up. Not as green as last year because I got a little bit later start where they had more moisture. But, uh, Should have been going up rocks. I love the sound of crunching snow under your feet. Looks like it's going to be windy at the top. Froze my butt off last time I was here in March. This is January, so no gloves. I got three layers on right now. Um, but I got puffy jacket and shell <laughs> with hoods and ski masks. and So 
Hopefully I will weather it a little bit better today. So I don't know if you can see, starting to have problems already. These things slipping around, they're just kind of held on with rubber bungees. So heavy hiking is not going to be kind to these guys. Certainly you're going to have to watch them if you have these. Watch them. Um, make sure they, they don't come off like a lot of hikers have mentioned. And you'll get stuff like this. Okay. This is where the trail crosses the uh, access road. I'm getting rained on here from the tree. Um, I'm going to continue on. And uh, you can see the antennas and stuff up there. Zoom in a bit. That's where we're going. Almost there. Easy, lovely hike. Let's rock on. On the access road. Frozen over in some places. About time to put on my gloves again. I'm wearing the yak tracks. I'll stay in the dirt here. All right, glove time. <laughs> Getting cold. Okay, uh, KC2 GNV uh, November 1 Charlie Lima Charlie uh, 4 from 1 flat. Uh, DMR running uh, high power right now, but uh, how do you read? I read you 100% there, N1 CLC, this is KC2 GNV Portable, um, I'm uh, also on 441 flat DMR, uh, currently using an Anytone 868, uh, transmitting with a Waxon uh, stock antenna, um, and uh, transmitting turbo power, I'll copy. Yeah, roger, roger, I'm switched to low power, uh, you're coming in full quiet and just absolutely great. Uh, Studio quality sound. Uh, I switched to low power. How do you sound now? All right, copy that. I just switched over to low power myself. Uh, how copy on low power DMR four four one flat over? Yeah, no no change. Uh, still sounds great. Uh, let's go over to FM and uh, just do a quick comparison. Then we can call it a day. All right, copy that. Uh, going analog on four four one flat. KC2 GNV clearing QSY. Okay, KC2 GNV. I'm flipped over to um, analog now. How do you pick me up? All right, M1 CLC. This is KC2 GNV uh, on 441 flat. Uh, do you copy over? Yeah, Roger, Roger. Are you uh, still running uh, low power? Yes, I'm still running low power. Still running low power over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. I get you a good solid copy, uh, maybe a drop out of squelch once in a while. Uh, quite a bit of path noise, but uh, good copy. Certainly not the studio quality that we had with digital, so uh, I think that's good. I appreciate your time, man. Copy that. Copy that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fly over or uh, bump it up to, uh, to turbo power. Okay, standing by for turbo power. Turbo power, yeah, you were dropping out all over the place there uh, on, the, on the analog side there here. Um, this is a KC2 GMV on high power. This is KC2 GMV on high power. Now testing, testing one, two, three, three, two, one. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one. How copy? Turbo power. Um, sound good. It's a good solid copy. A little bit less path noise in there. Um, you're definitely breaking squelch the entire time. Uh, sounds good. All right, cool. Well, uh, thanks for, for testing out the ZMR Simplex uh, Summit to, to ground. Yeah, roger, roger. We'll do some more of these, man. All right, I'm going to pack up and head down. Have an awesome day, dude. All right, 73. Have a great day. Asta, dude. N1CLC, QSY to the Hangout. Getting ready to pack up, get off of Kuyamaka. Um, they've added a couple of new towers here. I'm standing right in front of one. Really, really big one here. Huge. This one was here. Mi microwave, a little bit of VHF. Another new tower. So I guess they're going to lease these things out. There's some new antennas over here as well. 
Uh, looks like VHF and yeah, some other gear. So uh, I'm guessing they're going to have a lot of a lot of gear up here uh, in short order. It's certainly uh, it's certainly a great spot. Anyway, and once you'll see, I'm going to do something here.